You're saying you're playing God. You're playing God, but also I do think, don't they use fetuses? Zetus Lapidus. They're using <laughs> a fetus? <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am Christina Aguilera. Christina Regina McDonald. Oh, and this here is Frank. And we're looking nice today. You know what? Yesterday I said I have an excessive sweat glands. Today we're embracing it. We're oh, I thought you were going to say like today I'm cooling off. Oh, no. It's just like instead of like saying, oh, summer, I, I find myself complaining. But I love summer. Yeah. So say we were feeling very summery. Okay. With, and it comes with the sweat. It yeah. comes with the heat. It comes with the... UV rays. <laughs> the, the UV rays. The sun is out to kill you. <laughs> um, how's everyone doing? It is a beautiful Thursday. Yes. Um, beautiful heat wave. Beautiful, beautiful life. Beautiful full moon. It's August 11th. Um, and that's why I am Christina today. Oh, it's her birthday. It's her feast day. Oh. Catholics like to celebrate the day the person went to heaven okay. more than the day the person went to earth. And um, so I'm remembering um, 27 years ago or 26 years ago. I, I can't remember. It's something to do with the twins. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so. It would be um, 27 years ago. Because they were. Because I, I was alive 26 years ago. I know. But if they were, they weren't one yet. But here's the thing. Okay. I was alive 26 oh, years correct. ago, but okay. I was not alive for this. Got so you. it has to be more than 26. So that's how you figure it out. <laughs> Christina, um, Christina, Christina, um, she's in the, on the party on the other side at the moment. Yeah, my, we're all pretty jealous. My cousin and godfather is the same person. Yeah. And he just joined the party August 2nd. Shout out. We have a lot of people who decided to go to heaven in August. Yeah. My dad, my mom, my sister, my godfather. Um so beware of August. <laughs> no, no. It's, 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 if it's too hot, you just. Too hot to handle. <laughs> you go to heaven. <laughs> just like the show. <laughs> that's what that show's about, right? Life. I don't know this show. Too hot to handle? I thought that's what you watch. Too hot to handle. What do you watch? What is, what is the, the. I don't watch the, anything. No, I watch Trailer watch, Park You boys. watch the English show. The, you know what I don't like? Love people, Island. You know what I don't like when people call it? Uh, like, you know what people call trash TV? I don't like that, but what is it? Smut TV? I don't know. There's some like very negative thing. I don't like, get out much. And people just say it about themselves. Like, oh, I'm just watching. Oh, uh, like, like you don't like the word junk food. And now yeah, you also don't like it's this. Like, it's like, <clears throat> stop it. Right. What? Like, oh, someone's going to call you on like not watching a documentary. Yeah. It's just TV. It's television. Yeah. It's entertaining. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm watching trash television. Well, stop. Stop. Put well, I don't know. I don't, I don't actually I do when you're sitting on the couch but I don't watch too hot to handle I don't know what this your is popcorn that's not junk food and the show on TV is not trash television but what do you think I'm watching you are watching an English show about very attractive English people love island love island okay well too hot to handle is like the same thing <laughs> okay and I think it came before love island but uh, oh those those old reality shows no it's not that old I'm saying like two oh. years ago but it was English people and it's too hot to handle. What is the premise of Love Island? Can it, they not kiss or anything? Oh, they can have sex. Okay, that's yeah, what it it's is. It's a dating show. So too hot to handle, I guess that's what it is, is they tell people they're going on like a Love Island show. Okay. And so it's a bunch of very, like, sort of, imagine mm -hmm. me. Oh, a bunch of you, yeah. A bunch mm -hmm. of me's. And Frank. And, and me and Frank, yeah. yeah. That's why we're wearing this. We look <laughs> like we're on uh, Too Hot to Handle. You're auditioning. And so it's like, are you going to be with a bunch of other sexy people and you're just going to have six weeks of fun yeah and then they go the first day and they're all like "Ooh, i like your abs and then the guys are like "Ooh, i like your hips and then they're like, mm, mm, mm. and then there's this like, alexa thing that comes on in the first day and says gotcha you're on too hot to handle you there's a million like a million dollar or a hundred thousand dollar cash prize any kind of physical oh my gosh touch. and people and people are unable to do it i i imagine the producers push it a little bit but yeah, yeah they got the whole drama and then they get mad like because in the morning it's someone had sex. Do people last get night. voted off? I don't think so. Because I was going to say that would make sense. If no, because they don't want people voted off because the premise of the show. So tension like, will build. Otherwise, they would just vote. Like then the only people that stayed would be the ones and it would be a boring show. Yeah. You're just watching them all play chess. That's the excitement. 
Yeah, I don't know. There was Temptation Island, and I think that was when couples went on, and then they were like tempted yeah. to cheat. There was um, there was Epstein's Island. Spencer, <laughs> this is out of control. Um, I would. There's Love Island UK is the is the OG. Love Island UK OG is the original, and um, and whatever. There's a spinoff which is the USA version, and I don't like it. Most people don't like Ain't it. That always how it is. And um. I was watching it. I don't think anyone's watching it, so it doesn't matter if I tell you that Tyler got voted off. No. Yeah, the Ohioan Hawaiian. Not the Ohioan Hawaiian. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> he um, he looks Hawaiian, but he's from Ohio. He just looks Hawaiian. I think he might be South Pacifician, but <laughs> unspecified South Pacifician. But anyway, I I went on his Instagram. So on the UK, if you're on the show, even if you get voted off, when you go back on your social media, you have a million followers. Yeah. So I was like, I yeah. I looked up Tyler to say, what's going on? USA not very watched, so he his numbers didn't grow that big. But also, someone wrote, I loved you on Paradise Island, and I was like, come on, <laughs> it's Love Island. Oh, it's amateur hour. Yeah. Um, sweet Love Island, Fantasy Island. You should you should audition. No, I'm not. I'm not social enough. Well, I, the, I would like you to be on Love Island UK. Love Island USA. Love Island UK is so popular. Next year they're doing two. They usually do one um, season a year. Yeah. Next year they're doing two. Oh. Um, but Love Island U USA. Um, ugh, they're just, they're just, they're just more brash. They're more. Now here's my question, and I've had this question before. Is w what you're seeing? how english people would watch love island uk like when you you when you uh, are watching love island usa yeah you know that guy yeah you you've seen that guy at the yeah. jersey shore yeah, yeah and it's like you don't like him right in england are like is it like because it's a different culture and they're talking proper bants yeah okay i can see what you're saying is it on I can see what you're saying, but I do not. I do not think so because it is extremely popular in the UK. The reason it's so popular is not because of of Americans liking the difference. Yeah, people. It is a very popular yeah. ITV show in the UK. That's true, and I, mean, yeah, I guess it's more of just the actual US show. Because yeah. look at Jersey Shore. That was what I just explained, but we loved yeah. it because of the entertainment and the characters. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Um. It's National Mountain Day. Mountain. Yeah, you like mountains. Mountains are very biblical. Oh yeah, the Mount Sinai. Mount Mount Sinai. Yes, C Cedar Sinai um, Medical Center in California. Shout it's, out. I believe it's Jewish. Was or it still is, but um, I believe it was started so that Jewish people, maybe they were being persecuted or something, or, or, or you know what I'm saying, and so yeah. like, we could have our place, but. It turned into, you know, an all-inclusive and a very, very highly regarded um, nice. um, place. And um, we actually have uh, some friends who are going through some really um, cutting-edge, state-of-the-art uh, stem cell uh, therapy there. Really? Right now. Yeah. Stem cells. Fascinating. Yeah, they are. I feel like you haven't really heard about it lately. I feel like maybe because it was just like brand new and like... Stem cells? Oh, you mean lately? Yeah, I feel like... It was, was like, a big thing, right? Yeah. Well, I like, know. Not, like, it was just like not even what it was doing, but like the idea. Like I remember I saw like an, them grow an ear and stuff. Well, like, maybe because when they were... F when it was first, first, first being discovered that it could be done. It was excitement. And now yeah. it's like we're realizing we have to go through the steps of yeah. actually making things. So we're like, all right, we'll, we'll come back in 10 years. I guess that's some sort of how like effort, a lot of things are virtual reality and and also they tried um, to put they tried to put religiosity on it because um you're saying you're playing God you're playing God but also I do think don't they use fetuses Zetus Lapidus they're using <laughs> a fetus <laughs> I think so yeah, I thought no, it's umbilical cord fluid yeah I um, don't know I I thought it came also from from fetuses. I, I think that might be propaganda. Is it? Yeah. I'm not against it if it is. I'm not either. Yeah. You know, it's uh it's like the, the Native American way. Use it all. Yeah. It's one thing if you were growing fetuses to harvest. I'm still fine with it. <laughs> I'm saying that's when the lines get blurred. Too much for Thursday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Too much for any day, I think. Yeah. I might have just lost our hundred followers. Never. Never. To the death of us. Yes. Um. Yeah. So National Mountain Day. Mountain. Uh, climb mountain, the mountain. Climb the mountain, and all that. Uh, you see a mountain? 
first word that comes in your mind is climb. Uh, let me think. No. Of course it is. Mountain. Tree. Climb. Tree. Yeah. Now we live in a place that has some mountains. And, and, in Pocono and, Mountains. And they bore through them. They tunnel through them. Yeah. And then you get to go through the mountain instead of over the mountain. You save time and you get to be a little scared for <laughs> three, Or hold your breath. That's three a, minutes. That's a fun thing to do. Hold your breath and yeah. see if you can outlast the, the tunnel. Mm -hmm. Love it. But guys, um, yeah. So the Instagram polls are over. Do you know what we're doing for the next polls? Exodus. I said it yesterday. We're, oh, we're just going to go, go through. through. Let people oh. know how the Bible works. Okay. Exodus. Fun. Exodus. And, uh, uh, how do you say... Are we going to do so for Genesis? If you guys followed our polls on Instagram at Crook and Crow, we were you know picking Bible verses, but it was the first to seven. Yeah. So <clears throat> we, we yeah we aimed for thirteen slides, which we actually got. Yes. So every book of the Bible has is more, more different or numbers. Less. Yeah. Are you changing that accordingly? Yes. It'll be percentage more than like okay. like whatever percentage. Uh, 26 verses out of yeah a thousand verses of genesis whatever that percentage was we'll do because exodus has less verses than genesis got it so you're gonna be there crunching the numbers yeah i'm a number cruncher so yeah so i have all the verses the verses that we had against each other um for the for during the polls and um there's a lot but we are going to pick one and you know why you know why we're gonna pick one why because it is walk through thursday baby Roll the intro. Oh, roll the intro. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that, was that was my intro pause. I know. That's, that's like, what I was waiting for. <laughs> roll the intro, please. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cuz walk through Wednesday just begun. What is going up? Go oh, my gosh. What the is going on? <laughs> what is going on, guys? It is walk through Thursday, the greatest day of the week. And, um. On Walk Through Thursday, we open up the Bible. The Bible is open in all its glory. <laughs> no more jokes. The, once the Bible's open, we scan through it, we rifle through it, and we pick a singular verse. And we take that verse and we look at it specifically. Mm -hmm. We love the Bible as a whole. Yes. You and me, uh, personally, we like it more as a whole than a lot of other people. Yes. We like to see the overarching themes. We like to see the callbacks. We like, give me it all. <laughs> but there's also importance in every word and letter right. of the book. And so Walk Through Thursday is just a little day to give a spotlight to one verse so we can break it down and really just meander our way through it. Right. So without further ado, uh, we're talking from a book. Uh, we're talking... I'm not doing okay. You're fine. I'm just getting a little nervous. I think you're it's a shirt. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> we are reading from the book of Genesis. Shocker. And the verse I picked is Genesis 45.8. All the way at the bottom. There's only 50, there's only 50 chapters yeah. in Genesis. So yeah. you, you were like, you were like a speed reader. Yeah. 45.8. All right. So, um. A little, what was this? I was so, speed reading. <laughs> Do you ever see someone speed read? Yeah, I always, I'd never believe it. I don't know why, but like, it's just, it looks so silly. Yeah. Or like, you see like when they do the fast talking? I can, I can fast talk and I can fast read. Okay. My dad's faster than your um, dad. Kath and Kim is a show, an Australian show. It's not on anymore. It's on Netflix and um, it's, it's a comedy, but Kath um, supposedly speed reads and so she's... <laughs> All right. So um what the the verse we're reading is from the story of Joseph. And that's not Joseph from that's not Jesus is Joseph. No. That's Genesis is Joseph. Okay. And uh, you want to tell us about Joseph? Joseph was or remind uh, us cuz we we all know, right? Joseph was the son of Jacob? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so Jacob had a few wives which was standard at the time. So he had many sons. Uh, what did he have? 12? Yeah. 15? Uh, 12 maybe? He had a, a, he had a, he had a whole handful. A gaggle. Ha yeah. Gaggles better. A whole dozen uh, sons. But they weren't all from the same woman. Um, so 
he had Joseph with one of the women. Yeah. And um, I believe also the last one, Benjamin, might have been also the same mom. But anyway, he was not liked by the brothers that had a different mother. And why wasn't he liked? Um, They just didn't like him. No. Well, he made it worse. <laughs> he made it worse by... By saying that God was speaking to him through, through but he, dreams. He was all he was favored. He was favored by by the by the dad by the and dad. the mom. Oh, by the well, dad. Uh, by the dad. Okay. The dad favored him. So okay. When they even like without obviously they gave, he they gave him the coat um, of many colors. But besides that, like they would go out to work and okay. then he wouldn't. And so like, it was already it was already known. It was it was a jealousy that. Why does dad like Joseph? So he's the youngest. Yes. And and so now he's a teenager and it's like, um, so for all those years, they're yeah. seeing him be favored. Yes. And it's getting on their nerves. And then he doesn't help. He makes matters worse by being oblivious to yeah, the hatred. Very oblivious. He did have dreams where um, he would get messages from God and he would proudly tell them. Yeah. And not just dreams, but dreams of like, Oh, I had a dream where you all were bowing down to me. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And so he, yeah. he he uh he made matters worse. And um also Jacob made matters worse for him by kind of having him I don't, I don't want to say spy on his brothers, but the the father would say the brothers are out in the field, go see what they're doing, yeah. see if they're doing it right, bring bring me back intel. So of course. You know, he was kind of set up in it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, are the brothers that wrong? I know, I know. <laughs> I, yeah, sure, they have not thrown him in a ditch and sold him to slavery. Uh, spoiler, that's what happens. But, man, I, I, I think you'd be hard-pressed to find someone who would not dislike <laughs> right. your younger brother if right. that was all the case. But, hey, it is what it is. So, um, let's just get into the verse, shall we? So it was not you who sent me here, but God. All right. So back to the story. They get real jealous. We said, they said, we're getting rid of this guy. They throw him in a ditch. They take his coat. All right. Yeah. And they put, they put sheep's blood on it and they bring it to the dad and say, Hey, the, uh, the kid's dead. And the dad was like, no, my boy. But then the, one of the sons got a, you know, a bleeding heart. And said, "We can't just leave him in this ditch, boys." And he and so, well, he wasn't not. Oh my gosh, it wasn't that much of a bleeding heart because he said, "Instead, we'll sell him to these." Well, I slavers. think he was going against a bigger crowd. I don't know what would happen if it was just brother against brother. He might have been a, even more kind, like what you said, a bleeding yeah. heart. But but he, the brother, was trying to help Joseph against yeah the seven other people who were like leave him in the ditch yeah. so he was trying to I, I feel or if i remember correctly, trying to compromise it like yeah like if you're in a group and like they're beating a kid up and it's like you don't stop them but you're like let's just rob them let's and, yeah, and go let's yeah, not beat them you know yeah. mm-hmm. something like that but who knows maybe it was the holy spirit that came well into of them. course it was because this is what joseph's saying that's and that's what we're getting to okay <laughs> <laughs> so they go down to egypt and um he's there as a slave, but then he finds favor with the emperor because he w- did have these dreams and stuff. Right. So he was telling the emperor Fair, what's the what, Fair. who's who, yeah. yada, yada, yada. Ends up being a high ranking official. Okay. Then there was a big old drought and wah, wah. for the entire place where they were living. And people would come to the pharaoh's temples and say, please, we have no crops. We we're going to starve. One of the people that came were the brothers he recognized the brothers. Brothers didn't recognize him. Sent him back. Bring back your youngest son, um, your youngest brother. I still don't even remember why that was the case. I guess he had never seen him, or uh, or also, yeah, wasn't it also a test of because the father was so bereaved that he had lost Joseph, and it's yeah. like he would never give up Benjamin. But then, um, yeah, we can, um, or maybe I mean, just the fact that the brothers had a younger brother that he maybe saw a little bit of himself in him. Yeah, he was the youngest. Checking in on them. Know. Have they been pushing you into ditches? <laughs> yeah. Is it still alive? <laughs> then they find out that he is them and they fall on their faces and they're like, oh my gosh, how could we have done this? We're so sorry. Please forgive us. Please forgive us. And Joseph is like, listen, I'll tell you what he said. He said, there's so many. Oh, <laughs> so I'll tell you what he said. 
So it was not you who sent me here, but God. What is the number? That's uh, 45.8. 45.8. I, I do know that we abbreviated it um, for the poll because yeah. we can only fit so much. That's so it. this is the full um, the full piece of what Joseph okay. said to them. So then it was not you who sent me here, but God. He made me father to Pharaoh, Lord of his entire household, and ruler of all Egypt. He's just explaining yeah, further. Yeah, yeah, it's just that, part of the story of what he was sent. Like yes. What God really sent him for. Right. Like, you don't need to apologize because what you thought you were doing, you didn't even do. You thought yeah. you were going to... You, you thought you were putting me in slavery for the rest of my life. God knew that it was a pathway for me to become in a great position yeah. for God. So um, that was the Joseph story. But as we talked about yesterday... Why do us in 2022, why do we who are not Joseph, how, why, how does that speak to us? I'll tell you how it speaks to us. Um, well, first I have a question. and it, it's That is the question, right? Like, I think sometimes people get mad right. or upset with the idea when, if you tell them, well, that's all, God's plan. And it's like, right. hey, this is, um, if, if it happened, it was, it was meant to happen. Right. And it's like, people are like, oh, you're telling me my cat got why ran would over God do, why, by a motorcycle yeah. man because God wanted that to happen? Right. So where is the line drawn? Yeah. What well, I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were setting up your own Oh, wow, like a dramatic pause? So that you would then tell me. No, because I want, immediately, I want to say I fully agree with this, mm -hmm. right? Like, you can't, like, you should walk around and, and know that everything's on God's timing and... You should know that you're you're there's a path in front of you that you're being led on, and you might feel like a, some as small as a breakup is like ruining your life, and right. it's like, but then who knows what's going to happen, right? What, what's in the future for you? And even though it sucks at the time, it's like when uh, when when anything, and, and then this person comes to you and is like, oh, I did this to you, and it's like, right? Or I, I had any kind of cause in this, and it's like, we, I was always destined to do this and we've done um check out our trail mix check out our playlist yeah check it out <laughs> of um walk through thursdays we have talked about um about god's plan cannot be affected yeah by other people like yeah. that that no one could oh, i forget that one we we just did it was like no man who, who a mere mortal of course yeah. you can't hurt me. So like, eat, but, but we did say in that, um, in that podcast that you may end up being murdered, dead. <laughs> Your physical body yeah. ceases to live. Does that mean it was a fail? No, because what a mere mortal made you stop breathing, but you got, nobody yeah. can stop, God, you know, what God's plan for you Yeah, and your everlasting soul. So um, it is it is still hard, you know, and obviously Genesis is full of challenges to your faith. Yeah. Why did why did um Abraham almost sacrifice Isaac? Yeah. You know, why did did he have to be in the pit and then be in slavery? And even after even after Joseph um was brought into the Pharaoh's place, he, he even ended up in jail again. Yeah, his wife <laughs> his wife thought he was a looker. Right? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. The wife thought he was a looker. And then he said, "I'm, I'm a, I'm a good Christian, or right, right. all the time. I'm a good religious boy. Right. I'm not touching you." And she said, "No." She said, "Pharaoh, here. Pharaoh, he tried to touch me." No, yeah, no. His um, uh. give give me um Frank's shirt. He just pull it off. Oh, oh. <laughs> he yeah. So this is um, this is the woman. Okay. Stay, stay, and you're Joseph, and you you run. Yeah. And I gr I got your I have your shirt. So then she, this is what she showed Pharaoh. And she was like, oh my gosh, uh, he was here and I refused him. But I got this as proof. So we had man, a good job. <laughs> women are snakes. Poor, poor Frank. Dress them back up again. Oh, oh. <laughs> but um, anyway, so it's, it's Genesis is full of challenges to your um, reasoning. But yeah. whenever that happens to me, you know what I say, trust not, lean not on your own understanding um, that that it's it, it, it is God's plan is not understandable to us all the time yeah so and here's my thing i, I think I'm, I'm this is what i'm going to say about it okay okay he's fine he's fine. i have ocd i think this is what i'm going to say it looks like camo from here doesn't it 
It does, but it's not. It's it's it's, uh, it's like a Florida Hawaiian. floral. He's the Ohio Hawaiian. He's the Ohio Hawaiian. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler. Um, this is what I'm gonna say about it. You ever watch um, what's this show? This movie about Final Destination. Final Destination. You ever watch Final Destination? No, but I know like pop culture. Yeah, I'm sure it. you don't. Uh, you wouldn't even like it, but it's the idea that he has a, a vision mm-hmm. that they're all gonna die on like mm-hmm. a roller coaster, and then. He stops them all from going on the roller coaster. Right. But you can't cheat death. And so then the rest of the movie is them going along, dying in obscure ways. Right. Trying to not. Right. And I think that's more of the case, right? Like, Mm -hmm. I think God does have a plan for all of us. Yes. And he does want us to live a certain, do a certain thing, make a certain, um, you know, impact in the world. Right. And I think rather than thinking God, was it called? The, the brothers were possessed by the Holy Spirit to throw him in a pit. It was like they had no free choice in the matter. They knew it was happening. Right. I think it's more, I was going to end up here always. Right. Whether, whether right. you threw me in the pit or not. It, they could have not. And then things would have gone differently. But but the part where God wanted Joseph to end up, he would have ended yes. up. Yes. And then, so I think that, like, was, I think when we try to think, like, Oh, I, 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 you feel like the loss of free choice, mm-hmm. but I think it's more like that. It's if you go, if you go on this turn, okay, well then we'll lead you back to the right. If you go this way, we're going to lead you to the left. And so when he's saying to the brothers, I think it's more like this almost had nothing to do with you. Like I, I think his forgiveness was separate from his statement in a, in a way. Okay, where it's like I do like. Listen, I was always going to come here. All you did was put me on this path. Right. This direction here. Right. It was like whatever fork in the road went, it was always coming back. Right. But and so like. Well, yeah, because they all had their own journeys with God and, and they all had their own purposes that God yeah. wanted them for. And we're saying it negatively like um, it wasn't you, but God who put me here. And we're saying like if something if something bad happens, you don't have to hold animosity in your heart yeah. for for it, but also for good things. Yesterday we talked about. Um, the quarterback, uh, Jalen Hurts, and saying, you know, same thing. You know, it's like, oh, well, you had such a good school and such a good coach yeah. and such a good... Yes, I did. But I am here because God put me here. Yes. You know, um, and one more verse I think of, which is, I want to always repeat, Mary, when she was visited by by the angel, and she, the angel said to this young woman, this is what your life is going to be. Yeah. And it was like, what? Mind-blowing. She said, let it be to me according to your word. So... Yes, you have free will, make the best of your life, do everything you can to make it fulfilled, but also know that God is always watching you, always with you. Yeah. And yeah. um on that path with you. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I I would always say don't ever feel like you don't have free will. Right. Right? Like it's just cuz it's when, when things like are are in my mind destined or whatever, I don't think it's the fact of like I don't want to I think there's something in you yeah, you know, like when people talk about true love, right? Where it's like you feel connected to that person. I think right. there's more of this like connection with the destiny. So like he could have run from being Pharaoh right. all his life, but it was like there was something always pulling him right. to a potential. Get that. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Because yes. where he would feel wonderful for saving people. Yeah. Same thing with Mary. The angel didn't have to visit Mary. I know we're jumping New Testament, but the angel didn't have to visit Mary and tell her anything. Yeah. You know. So she could have said, no, I don't want it. Yeah. But she didn't. I don't want it. <laughs> John Snow. Of course it is. But guys, that's Walk Through Thursday. Um, uh, have we done this story before? We always do Joseph, but I, I mean. Know, I remember talking about this specifically. Maybe you're drawn to it for some reason. Uh, Egypt, here I come. <laughs> uh, guys, be good. Genesis um, is over. Remember that wherever you're at in life, God sent you there. Even if it's jail. That's right. Yeah, I think. Do they let the prisoners have the tablets yet? I'm a big advocate for that. It, I think so many different levels of your incarceration depend okay. on what you get or what you're what you have access to. Okay, I'm a big advocate. Yes, I, I think it's. I think our world is progressing so much. Yeah, and to still treat for like not only do you have to be incarcerated, you have to be incarcerated back in 1950. Right. Yeah. You know I mean, right. Like in incar- because back in the day. Right, the difference of an outside person and a person in behind bars was just being behind bars and right. having to do time. You woke up, you had social time, you worked. If you weren't in jail, 
it worked it woke up you had social time and you worked but now we're all like doing things passing time right like if you were in jail and um you had an infection and and they said sorry you can't have any penicillin yeah exactly right? it's like well no because in the old yeah. days it didn't exist now it does and, and I, I think it's just a horrible concept to like feel like no they don't deserve it it's like well neither do you Lisa. prison reform yeah i think i think they're like they're in jail it can't you know i'm not saying it's not gonna be a communication device i'm saying like make a prison like locked um version right like right maybe you can scroll on tiktok right or do whatever i don't know get a draw like invent one and um sell it to all the prisons that's true leapfrog giving you a call remember leapfrog (laughs) yeah i do all right guys i'm out of here uh tomorrow's dr seuss friday uh we need a new book we do recommendation oh my wait i want to show them some real quick okay so this is a little preview of all the books we've read for dr seuss oh wow That's not a preview. That's a review. Thank you. <laughs> this is what you've been missing, guys. Go to the playlist and you can see every single one read by Spencer. And and some of the books have more than one book, one, more than one story. Say peace. Peace.